All right, guys, it's the next day. So now I'm going to unpack my bag and show you guys what I bought whilst I was in Japan. There's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of the things, though, are my old clothes because I bought a lot of my clothes over to Japan when I packed my bag, if you watched my packing video. So let's just move all the old clothes to the side. I actually vacuum sealed most of my clothing just because it saves a lot more space and you can fit more in your bag. Two bags of clothes vacuum sealed. I'm just going to pull out all the clothes to make it easier because I didn't buy a single clothing item whilst I was in Japan. First off, I got like a bunch of party stuff. This is for my boyfriend's surprise birthday party, which is going to be on Monday. So I will have to plan that and that's just the decorations for my apartment. So I asked my boyfriend uh, what his plans were on his birthday and he was like, oh, no plans. And I was like, oh, Oh, how about I cook you a really nice dinner? And he was like, yeah, okay. So he doesn't know that there's going to be a birthday party and I'm inviting like 15 people over to our house. But he won't find out through my vlog because by the time this is up, it's probably like two weeks long gone because I'm so behind. I went to Frank Frank, which is like an interior store in Japan. It's actually one of my favorites. And I bought this. I actually have a lot of these. This is probably the fourth one I bought, but I just love it because it's so simple and it looks really good around our apartment. These are fake plants and it's funny because the first time I bought it, I thought it was real. The first one I bought, let me show you. Uh, this one right here. And I remember that I tried to water it because I was like, oh, maybe I should water my plant. And then I was like, why is my plant not taking in any of the water? And then I remember slowly touching it just in case because I was like, oh, it's a cactus, right? And then I realized, oh, it's plastic. And then I tipped upside down and I was like, oh, it's fake. I thought it was real. I don't know why I thought it was real. Like, it looks pretty real. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and... I um, don't know anything about plants. It's kind of good that it's fake because I get to bring it back to Australia. So I bought back um, a bunch of these and it just looks really good around our apartment. So I got another one. Not sure where I'll put this one yet, but I'm sure I'll find a spot. And then I got the stand to go with it in rose gold. So the stand was only like 300 yen, which is like three bucks. And then you just put this on like that. I also got some back sheets because I feel that my back, um, I've been getting like a little bit of like pimples and stuff on my back and I really want to try and fix that so I thought I would try this out and see how it goes. If it works well, I'll make a video out of it. Pokemon Latte Art, which is probably very useless to be honest. I don't really know why I bought it now, but I guess when friends come over, I can make them a coffee and put one of these on. I got this Pokemon Cup. And let me take that out. This is what I got in the Pokemon Cafe. And then comes the lid. Now, I was a little bit disappointed because I thought it was going to come with a plastic straw. But it didn't. So I'm going to go shopping later on. I'm sure I can find it in Australia. Like, it's just a plastic straw. And I like big cups because it forces me to drink more water. Whenever I drink from small cups, I feel that... I don't drink as much water and a bigger cup definitely makes me drink a lot more. I really need to drink more water because my lips are getting very dry and they've been peeling so much so it's kind of gross. I bought a bunch of laundry bags from Daiso and I love these because they really protect your clothes when you're washing them, especially in the washing machine. Like this top for example, if I put this in a wash it might stretch when it washes but if I put it in one of these it just helps protect my clothing so that i bought a bunch of stuff from daiso but this is for another video so i'm not going to show you guys all the stuff that i got in daiso because i don't want to spoil the video for you guys i got this fake candle from frank frank i already have one of these but i just love how it looks it's so pretty then you pull out the plastic and then this will light up actually i'm going to do it now because i'm going to display it around my house anyway so pull it out and then you can turn it on I love it. It's so pretty. And because it's a fake candle, it will last forever. I got some Pikachu socks from Don Quixote. Kit Kats. I got these fridge magnets from Frank Frank. Oh, it feels so real. Oh, that's... Oh my god. It smells like pancakes. Oh, this is really creepy because it actually feels like pancakes. This is the first time I've opened it up, by the way. That's why I feel kind of... Like, I'm happy that it's so real, but I feel kind of grossed out because I'm like, how long has it been in my suitcase for? Has it gone bad? Fruit croissant. Oh, oh that's so weird. It actually feels like bread. I think my boyfriend's going to come home. He's going to be like, why did you buy more fridge magnets? We don't need any more. I don't know why. Just touching them makes me feel a bit ooh, weird inside. And then I got a few erasers and stuff. So these are from Dysol. Pen. 
fake lashes, Pikachus and Eevees. So this one is from the Easter collection. I love it so much. I am so glad I bought this because it pretty much sold out in one day. And then I read online that it sold out within an hour on the online store. So I was like, I'm so glad I got this. And then when I saw these at the Pokemon Center, I knew I just had to get them because look how freaking cute they are. These are from the Easter collection. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. I might put them next to my bedside table because... Oh, they're so soft and pretty. I then bought some notebooks um, and stationery stuff. And I bought a bunch of pens from Seikaido. But I'm not going to show you guys because I want to show you guys in a stationery haul I'm going to do on my main channel. Pokemon stickers. Pokemon um, sticky notes. Um, yeah, the rest of it is just all my old stuff. Oh no, I got a frying pan. Yes. So I can make tamagoyaki. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. For some reason, I don't know why, I just feel like I've forgotten how to vlog because my last few days in Japan, I tried really hard to vlog a lot, but I don't know why. Like, I just feel like the vlogs were everywhere. So I think I'm going to take a break from vlogging for a while just so I can get myself together and think about what I really want to do for this channel. Now, by the time this video comes out, it's probably like two or three weeks afterwards so i'll probably be okay by the time this video comes out and i'll have time to process all my thoughts and stuff hopefully though i get to stay in australia for at least a month this time um just because i feel like in february and march all i've been doing is traveling and it really took a toll on um i guess my mental health because i was going crazy i was so stressed out constantly i just wanted to go home and you know try and relax a bit so now that i'm home hopefully i can just calm down and you know try and get my life together and then i'll be ready to travel again if i need to hopefully in april i don't really have to travel anywhere so far it looks promising because i don't have any plans yet but you never know like the past two trips i've taken they were like very last minute trips and yeah i had no choice but to go thank you so much guys for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video i'm actually opening up a bunch of packages in the next video so yeah i'll see you guys then Bye guys.